During my time of suffering, abuse, neglect, and pure fear from a small child until I was able to escape, where were they? I cried out, I cried out so much for help. I was pushed to the edge and was lost for so long. Was this necessary? Did they understand how broken my soul was? They were with you. They were adhering to your blueprint. Many of us designed, and people don't like to hear this, and, and I, don't, I don't want to make anybody have a triggered reaction, but I believe this is true, and I think I can speak to it, because this, this is the life that I lived as well, same as you, Naya. Many of us came into this reality with an intention to experience abject abuse, suffering, and pain. Pain is not without merit as it concerns learning lessons. It's a way to learn lessons. And in fact, it's a powerful way to learn lessons. The calling of the abused person is to A, experience the abuse. And I know that's hard to understand that we, many of us came here to experience the abuse. Then recognize what's happening, the energy of which, and choose to align to the divine self, that which we truly are, so to overcome the abuse, to get out of the abuse, to get out of the cycle, and, and some of these cycles are karmic, but just to get out of it. And then number three, to transmute the energy of that, to take the energy of the negative and the abusive and the pain and turn it into something loving, something shining, something good for ourselves. So getting out of our own pain and healing ourselves, which is the first thing that must happen, and then letting that light shine before men. This is why so many of the greatest influencers on the planet, certainly presently, were abused kids. Who can I, Tony Robbins talks about how his mother was crazy and beat him. And he's like descended from angels, by the way. Like, I mean, actually like giants, giant angels, those angels that came in and, <laughs> and took human ladies as their wives and stuff and then like, created a race of people and they're huge. Like, I think Tony Robbins is like, kind of like an angel, but he was beaten by his mother and abused deeply by his mother. And now he's in his 50s and look what he's doing. Look what he's been doing since his 30s. But he had to move, he had to experience it because through the experiencing of it, Naya, you can recognize it in somebody else. Through what I was forced to see, because my father was a whirlwind, I now have eyes to see somebody else who's in the same pain. Through what I was forced to hear, because my father was a whirlwind, and he spoke terrible curses over our family, I can hear it in somebody's voice, I can. I can hear it when they talk. I recognize them. It's through my father stomping out my voice and my learning how to reclaim that voice that I can now talk to somebody and say, I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I can help you. I got myself out of it and I remember how. And now let me show you how to get yourself out of it. That's that's the reason so many of us chose to put that into our blueprint. And on some level, it's hard to accept that, right? Because it feels like we have to take ownership for the shit somebody else did to us. No, no, that's not what we're saying. We, what we are saying is you had to experience it so you could know it, so you could heal from it, and then so you could share it. Because there are countless people on the planet who need that help. And some of us are being called to be the ones to heal. Those of us who are broken are being called to heal those that are broken now. And so on a lot of levels, it's kind of a gift. It's kind of a gift and I've learned to see it that way. And I spent a lot of years really mad, really mad and abusing myself, taking it out on myself. I still find myself defaulting sometimes to toxic patterns that were very clearly inserted into me as a child. I spent a lot of years pissed off about that, but through conscious soul retrieval, through pivoting and turning away from staying in the loop of all that and pivoting toward the energy, the love that is higher than I, the rock that is higher than I, 
staying in that spiritual connection, all these other things just fell away. And I can say to you very honestly, I love my dad. I miss my dad. When he comes rambling up in here with his guava stick, I'm happy to see my dad. I'm no longer active, activated by that, hurt by that. It's something I understand was a soul contract that he and I both had. Remember we talked about soul groups, didn't we? And how some of our closest soul friends agree to play terribly abusive roles in our lives so that we can learn and become what we came here to be. I don't know if that's any, if that's any uh, solace, if that helps at all, but that's what I think is going on. And so too, they were there, your guides were there, but they were honoring the soul that I am that I am, the soul's reasons for, experience what, for experiencing what you experience. They were honoring that, but always, always with you. And they were with me too. I felt alone as well. I cried out in the night. I prayed hard. But I didn't get out of it until I was 18 years old. And then it was the aftermath. It was me being crazy for 10 full years because I was habituated to it. It was all part of the process. And here I am now talking to you. I see you and I recognize you. That's the value. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.